All right, today is June the 18th, I believe, and it's 2018. It is Thursday. It's in the morning, probably around 11. And uh, I was talking about gluten just a moment ago with Zoe and saying, yeah, now they've, my theory of what is going on with it being GMO. So you're paying all this uh, extreme pricing for organic and non-GMO when there's no guarantee it's non-GMO. And, uh, I mean, you can go on the reputation of a company, yeah, but if you're still getting the effects, you know it's GMO. And that's also known organic. Pesticide use with Monsanto and that sort of thing. Uh, using the DNA to... Uh, when, you, when I picked up corn the other day, it was uh, like a few years ago, I was uh, growing a garden at the farm. And uh, I bought, you know, a regular corn seed and it was loaded with this purple and oh how pretty and then i just grabbed my hands and it pulled it out i didn't realize it's all toxic pesticides on the corn itself and maybe in the corn itself nowadays so i was so sick for oh i thought i was going to die and it was from the pesticide on it and um so you think about that and then think about the wheat that after the corn or the wheat grows and it has the GMO and what it's done to the construction of the uh, chemistry of the corn it's changed it and it's become so it doesn't synthesize in your body the enzymes aren't there you wiped out all the enzymes in your body and so you have no enzymes anymore because that's what broke down food and especially food that's not really edible for some blood types and so you eat it, you have no enzymes, and then the next thing you know, your gut's imploding or exploding, you're having a heart attack, you're having a stroke, and nobody understood what was going on. Or you have colitis, or you have the opposite effect where you have, you know, diarrhea or constipation, one or the other. And uh, depending on too much enzyme or not enough enzyme, depending on the chemistry construct of your blood and body and that sort of thing. So whatever it is, it's triggering, the GMO is triggering that kind of colitis, that kind of um, constipation. And uh, yeah, it's like, oh, that's what's happening. So why can't I have uh, better enzymes, papaya enzymes or something, you know, that isn't GMO, that isn't touched by some kind of nefarious, uh, dark or evil, because really... I don't believe that. I think that's toxic. And it's made a lot of people toxic. And, uh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, just my thoughts on that. And, you know, ancient grains, you know, they say, oh, ancient grains is made by the same company that makes GMO. I don't think that's really ancient grains. And they're lying about advertising. That always was a big thing. And it's not a big thing anymore. They don't really prosecute anymore these big companies or big shot players they get away with murder and uh it's sickening but you see it happening because there's an agenda out there agenda 21 and it's pretty active especially when they don't do anything to right the wrongs uh, that's just my theory and my thoughts today thank you bye